Hey everybody, this is Anthony from AGL Studios. And Kyle from Too Much Bread. And welcome back. And today we are finally getting back into a cousin collab. It has been too long. And today we are looking at the Minecraft Big Fig Creeper and Ocelot. Uh, ages 7 and up, set 21156, 184 pieces, and retails around the 15 to $20 in the U.S. And it's a very interesting set, but we're going to give you guys a quick look at the Creeper first, then take a look at the Ocelot. Head back to the normal studio where we'll give you our final thoughts and wrap up this video. Alright, so let's get into the set. So here's the Creeper. As you can see, he has some nice uh, printing on the face accurate to the game and some one-by-one -one tiles and some studs to make it look like the actual Creeper printing. Some nice printing all around, especially on the legs, as you can see. Down there has some nice tiles that are built sideways, so it actually looks like the feet of the Creeper. Some nice, um, really nice printing. I really like this set. The big figs are really awesome. The, um, the plates on the back, I wish that could have been flat, but uh, you can't really get everything. But this is a really cool set. It has some nice um, connections down there to make it uh, connect and everything. And then if we look at the head... As you can see, the has a nice little pin that can just uh, go right in, and then it will stick in there. And then, as you can see, has a little head that is supposed to explode to the game, and the little um, gunpowder inside. So it looks because that's what they drop inside. Don't really like the red. I wish that they could change that because it just looks like a brain. So I wish that could be green. But and then it kind of just uh, hides in there. But I kind of don't like that because it just um it doesn't really. Uh, I don't really like how it just like sticks out and stuff, but Kyle, t please tell me your thoughts on this. All right, so as Ant pointed out, again, you do have the gap on the top. You can see you have the little hinge there and where that action feature will actually um, you know, pop out and you can drop the gunpowder. That is a cool feature. Again, you do have the red in there to signal or tell you that it is an action feature, which is something that I've always had a problem with on a lot of sets when they have the just the bright red stuff in a in a nicely consistent um, build with black, light gray, green, and then they have just all the red that's just screaming at you there. But it is on a ball joint pin there, so you do have some head articulation there. Um, it does get a little um, hard to put it back in if you don't make sure that it is straight. But the head, as I said, is on a ball joint, so you have a full 360. It can look up, but then it'll actually pop the pin out. So you just want to be careful with that. It can look up a little bit. It can definitely look down again, but you do have some nice head swivel there. As far as the legs go, they are on ratchet joints there. So you have articulation to pose this guy in a really nice walking pose as a creeper should look like from the actual game and ratchet joints all around. And that's pretty much it for the creeper as far as articulation wise. Yeah, so now we'll be moving on to the Ocelot and then getting done with this video. All right, so here is the Ocelot, and I think this is very cool. It's cool to get a secondary, you know, figure aside from the Creeper, as most of these big fig Minecraft sets are on a trend of doing, giving you two. But it's definitely an awesome build. Now I do have some flaws with it, and I obviously do have some good things that I love about it. Um, I think that it's very ingenious on how they put this together and what parts they use to represent what such as these little connector joints here for some of the ratchet joints for the actual ears. And then they have a clip piece to represent that he actually has a fish in his mouth. And there's a better look at the fish there. It's just a regular fish mold. Instead of normally in silver, it is recolored in orange to represent maybe a tropical fish that Minecraft would have. So putting that off to the side, you can see you just have the clip right there and it easily just clips in at the tail section. You could leave that off if you want. The head is on a ratchet joint, so it can look all the way down. It just can't go any further because that clip stops it, and it can't look any further up than that just because of how the body is built. Nice slender body with all tiles. It definitely looks really nice. And you do have some articulation for the feet, um, although they are together. They are not actual individual toes, and it does stand up fairly nicely. I mean, I just, for some reason... The main body structure of it just looks a little bit boxy, a little like blocky to me, which it should. It is from Minecraft, but I don't know. It's just really this section just kind of looks like a, like the legs can't really support it. But that's just me. You have some nice detailing on the top using the um, little bricks right there, such as the brown ones, medium nougat, and tan. Just very nice design all around. You have different colors throughout the actual ocelot. 
tan, but mostly consistent with that nice yellow. The tail is on a couple of hinges, so you do have a lot of articulation on where you want that tail to go. It can't go any further as far as there, and this one can be brought all the way down and all the way up. And uh, aside from that, that's pretty much it for the ocelot. As always, on these figures, the printing on the heads, um, for most part of all the ones I've personally seen, is just amazing. I think it looks extremely accurate. And as a personal Minecraft player myself, I think it looks accurate to the game. And what would you say about this? Yeah, I think the body is a little bit um, too big to what um, it, to the scale. I don't think that the legs would kind of support that. I think it should be a little bit more slimmer, but I like how it's on the joints and everything, but I don't like how it has a little clip under its neck because it doesn't really look like it, but I like how they were going to kind of get that in there. But yeah, so that's pretty much the ocelot, and now let's move on to the outro. And lastly, the thing to talk about is obviously size comparison. So push the creeper over, push the ocelot over to minifigure scale. You can see they are not proportional, but I mean, it is big figs, you know? So if I were to bring in such as a Minecraft actual smaller character, so bring in Alex for some comparison. You can see how they scale together. Same size as a regular minifig. And then you can see how it scales with one of his earlier wave mates, the skeleton. You can see how they scale together. Take the ocelot out of there. You can see just how much these guys look together. I think they look really, really nice. You can see a little bit taller than the creeper. Aside from that, that's pretty much all for this video. Alrighty, so thank you guys for watching. This is the uh, Minecraft Big Fig Creeper and Ocelot set, ages 7 and up, set 21156, 184 pieces, and retails from the $15 to $20 in the US. So thank you guys for watching, and as always, go subscribe to my cousin's channel at Too Much Bricks, uh, and uh, leave him a comment there and like, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't, leave a uh, comment and like too, so that'll pretty much be it for this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye-bye.